your higher self, it wants you to be loving, man. It wants you to be loving. It doesn't want you to be selfish. It doesn't want you to be coming from an ego. No, if you really feel inwardly, you will feel that the universe and your higher self, it wants you to be selfless. It wants you to be loving. It wants you to come from your higher self. You know, but why? This is interesting, genuinely, why? If we really look, we can see that what's happening here is that the universe within you is just trying to get back to itself. You're trying to merge back with yourself with everything. You're all, you, you know, the higher self within you, man, it's always there and it's always trying to get you back home. The way it's doing that is it's, is it's guiding you to be loving. And this is really significant because, you know, when you're loving, what, what that means is you're slowly becoming love. It's one thing to be loving, but it's another thing to actually become love or be love, right? Maybe you've had an experience where you're so loving to someone or to the universe that literally you, you don't have anything on your mind. You're just loving. You're just so present. You're just radiant with love. The universe has programmed within you this desire to be loving so that you can become love. Because when you're loving, you actually move out of your own way really quickly. There's actually no one there in the way. There's actually, no, you know, as Ram Dass would say, there's no one home. It's just you as your higher self, as love. And you've got this desire because the universe wants you to awaken. <laughs> this is what's going on. This, this desire, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be hard to see if you're being selfish, if you're being, you know, if you're getting in your own way. It took me a while to even feel this. You know, the more sensitive you become, the more high consciousness you become, the more you can feel this really, really quite strong, to be honest. And when you feel it, you're like, oh my God, it's obvious. It's so obvious, I just need to be loving. I, and, you know, it's not that you need to, it's I want to be loving. I really want to be loving. I want to be out of my own way. I want to be as loving as I possibly can. And you're probably going to run into the trap of, ah, you know, if I can be loving, if I can be selfless, that's good. I'm going to get me to awaken, you know. Who the fuck is me? That's misguided. That's not seeing things correctly. You're doing this for a reason that's bigger than yourself. It's way bigger than you, man. You've got, you know, spirituality is literally grounded in the, the thing that is bigger than you. It's everything. <laughs> it's, your, it's your true self, which, you know, it, it's, it's the self that is capitalized. Capital S, big S, big self. That's you. That's what you really are. You're just playing this game as a human, as an ego. Really, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what's up. You're love. You're absolutely love. You are absolute love. <laughs> you are love. You're just trying to get back. You know this. You know this. You can feel this. I feel this so strongly. It's crazy. Right? Every time I meditate, it's like, <laughs> it's so obvious. <laughs> right? This is, what's, this is what's up. Which is why you must align your life with love and be loving. Your higher self wants you to be very, very loving. Your higher self will listen to this and be like, yes, 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 loving. It's not always easy to be loving, but I know I can do it. I know I can. I'm gonna get past, my, past the me, past the tension, past the resistance, and into love. That's what's up. That is what's up. Okay, that's it for me. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope you feel this one. <laughs> Good luck, and as always, peace.